Thank you to HyperX for sending us here this year. Check out their YouTube channel, youtube.com slash kingstonhyperx. Also, thank you to Phantom Glass and lynda.com. The first thing I have to say about the Steam Controller is that it's a very distant relation to a normal controller. This is very much not a standard console controller. If there's a game that frustrates you to play on a touchpad with a laptop, it will probably frustrate you to play it with this controller. That being said, I don't mind the shape. Upon originally seeing it, I assumed due to its shape that I really wouldn't like it at all, but that ended up not being an issue. And also the haptic feedback on the touchpads was actually really good. The triggers were solid and the shoulder buttons, while not going down that far before they actuate and not really depressing that much at all, were totally fine. The buttons on the back were kind of an interesting addition that I've seen in aftermarket controllers a lot, but not too much on standard controllers and were actually pretty cool and seemed to work quite well and felt quite good overall. But the layout was a little weird. ABXY was in a really weird spot. I'm used to an Xbox controller where this is in the top right where the touchpad is on this controller. And I don't necessarily think that the touchpad being swapped position with the ABXY would actually make any sense. It just feels awkward. Playing shooters on this thing was weird. That being said, playing something like Dying Light where there's a melee weapon, it wasn't quite as bad, but then if you can aim for the headshots, it's gonna be a problem. Th 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 this controller is interesting. Describing this controller becomes a problem, because it's so different than anything you've probably ever used. It's kind of like a laptop, because you have a touchpad, and that's where a lot of your fine control comes from, but then it's obviously not a laptop. It's kind of like a controller, because there's ABXY buttons and triggers and stuff, but then there's two touchpads. The positioning of this controller is also an odd question. It doesn't really replace a standard controller for a lot of different games. Over the shoulder adventure games I'm probably still going to want two sticks and better positioning of the ABXY buttons for twitching to them and hitting stuff like quick time events very quickly. And for racing games again I'm still going to want two sticks. For shooter games I'm just going to want an actual mouse instead of a touchpad. So where does it fit? Well, it, it fits in a nice niche for games that were never designed to be played with a controller, but you really want to play on your TV. You might actually be able to use it for that, and games where, honestly, we've been saying this on all, all along, like Civilization and Portal, it still works great and allows you to play that on your TV with ease. In short, I don't think the Steam Controller actually replaces your controller. I think it just augments your controller. I would still want to use an Xbox 360 com controller on my home theater box, whether it was a Steam machine or not, and I would also want to have a Steam controller to fill in the gap for games that don't work very well with the Xbox 360 controller. In the end, while commenting on it and looking at it at a show is cool and all, this controller, more than any other controller I have ever tried in my life, will take some getting used to, and a, rev a proper review for this would take a few weeks of actually using it. So I'm not going to comment too much more. Thank you to HyperX for sending us here this year. Check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash HyperX. They've got a whole bunch of cool gaming content and even some stuff from us. So they'd really appreciate it if you subscribed. Also, thank you to Phantom Glass. Store.phantomglass.com is where you can get the best damn screen protectors out there. Also, lynda.com slash PAX is where you can learn some awesome stuff like editing in Premiere and even programming. Do you see yourself replacing your current controller with a Steam controller? Do you see yourself getting a Steam controller and your current controller? Are you interested in this controller even if you're not getting a home theater PC or a Steam machine or Steam Link or anything like that? Let me know in the comments down below or over on the forum. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see all the rest of our PAX East 2015 content, be sure to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.